Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn defends Hope Logan, Steffi Forrester snaps, and Brooke defends Hope to Ridge, Hope, and Carter's rival fashion house. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, if Steffi Forrester isn't careful, the boardroom of Forrester creations might become a boxing ring. It appears that Queen Steffi's animosity for Hope Logan is the reason behind her ability to fire or annoy nearly half of the corporation. Will Tanner Novlin's character, Steffi's devoted husband Dr. Finn, ultimately have enough of his wife's antics? Find out what happens next on Bold and Beautiful by reading on. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Hope Logan and Carter Walton's Exposure Perhaps the greatest spouse we have ever seen on BNB is John Finnegan. He has stuck behind Steffi no matter what, even after his brief run-in with Hope Logan. He stands by his wife and defends her even when she is in error. However, Finn also possesses a strong sense of morality. For what length of time can he tolerate Steffi Forrester's outburst? Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Finn stands up for Steffi Forrester and Hope Logan snaps. The connection between Hope Logan and Carter Walton is no longer a secret, despite their best efforts to keep it that way. You would think that Steffi Forrester would be overjoyed that Hope is no longer running around after her husband Finn like a lost puppy, but instead she is furious about their romance. Steffi is enraged by Carter and Hope's romance and believes it to be the ultimate betrayal from the right-hand man of the Forrester family. At this point, Hope's allegations that Steffi is preoccupied with ruining her life are being supported by spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. Steffi has been making an effort to discredit Hope for the future, and now she is criticizing Carter for secretly seeing her enemy. Has Steffi Forrester overreached on Bold and Beautiful? BNB Spoilers Hope went too far when she kissed Finn, but Steffi is going too far by punishing everyone on Team Hope with her influence at Forrester Creations. BNB Spoilers indicate that the good doctor will soon find out what Steffi is doing and confront her about it. Because Steffi will believe that Finn is siding with Hope in their never-ending battle, his conversation with his wife is likely to send her into a tailspin and prompt her to lash out even more. Do you believe Steffi Forrester was justified in what she did at FC? Will Finn become tired of his wife's taunting and antics? In a flashback in the Forrester design offices, Hope trips and falls into Finn, landing them on the desk while attempting to surprise Carter. At that moment, Steffi entered, thought Hope was hurling herself at her husband once more, and dismissed her. Hope was led out of the premises as Ridge took the side of his daughter. But Brooke is adamant that Ridge is mistaken about this and her daughter. Will this be the most recent problem to further distance them, or will she be able to persuade Ridge that Steffi was mistaken? Taylor isn't crying over Brooke and Ridge's recent problems, we're sure. There is undoubtedly a spark between Will and Electra, and the next week, Will asks Electra if she will finally share her tale with him. According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi Forrester is on the verge of losing it. There are going to be significant changes at Forrester Creations, regardless of whether Steffi decides to fire Carter Walton, cut Hope Logan's line, or both. Would Hope and Carter end up using their skills somewhere else as a result of this? Despite their ambitious intentions at Forrester, Carter and Hope may change their course and pursue their goals in a completely different manner. At least not at this time, Carter might not be able to build the massive luxury conglomerate he had hoped for. Carter and Hope might, however, collaborate to launch a competing fashion label. Hope and Carter may develop some vindictive schemes if Steffi fires one or both of them from Forrester Creations. It's simple to see Carter and Hope believing they can establish a fashion brand that is prepared to be much more inventive. If Hope and Carter made the right pitch, would Zend Forrester Dominguez leave Forrester Creations? It's feasible that Zend would agree to accompany you. If Steffi keeps making things hard for Ivy and Electra Forrester, the same is true for them. Ridge Forrester overturning Steffi's rejection of the resurrected jewelry brand is sure to make Steffi unhappy. Steffi might vent her resentment on Ivy by vetoing every design she submits. Ivy can grow frustrated if there is no way to please Steffi in this stressful circumstance. If Carter and Hope are lucky, they might be able to assemble a strong team for their rival fashion firm that includes Zend, Ivy, and Electra. 
she might also join them if Brooke Logan and Ridge's relationship ends. Carter was already prepared to contribute a portion of his personal funds to invest in Forrester's future in order to finance all of this. Instead, Carter might use the money to fund a business endeavor with hope. Liam Spencer may persuade Bill Spencer to invest as part of a reunion plot since he wants to get hope back. In addition, Bill usually likes to show off his strength against the Foresters, and this would be a fantastic opportunity to do so. If Bill sees this as a fantastic chance to invest in Electra, his new crush, Will Spencer might also encourage him to do so. We may observe Will accompany Electra to Hope's group and exert pressure on Bill to provide the money. In any event, our BNB predictions suggest that Steffi and Hope's feud is set to reach new heights, so stay tuned for updates on all the conflict that is erupting. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke Logan is headed straight towards single dom. Her relationship with Ridge Forrester is not looking well. According to rumors, Brooke Logan will be swept off her feet by a past flame who is returning. Thorn Forrester, is that right? Read on to find out. Here are the next events on BNB, be prepared for spoilers. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, will Thorn Forrester return to the show? When CBS revealed last year that Windsor Harmon will be returning as Thorn Forrester, fans of Bold and Beautiful were ecstatic. Ingo Rademacher, a General Hospital star, had previously portrayed the part, which had been recast for a few years. On December 5, after the death scare of Eric Forrester, John McCook, Harmon made his way back to Los Angeles in the role of Thorn. We haven't seen him since he left town on December 15. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, will Thorn Forrester return for Brooke? Fans have been discussing on social media whether Brooke Logan's new romance with The Bold and the Beautiful is her ex-boyfriend Thorn Forrester or something else entirely. Thorn's return to town to mediate his family's dispute over the fashion company makes sense given the current drama at Forrester Creations and the mayhem in the boardroom. Will he arrive in time to provide his ex-wife Brooke Logan support during her separation from Ridge? BNB Spoilers, the Forrester brothers passed with Brooke Logan on Bold and the Beautiful. If you have been watching for a long time, you are probably aware of Brooke's complex relationship with Ridge and Thorne. Remarkably, Thorne was married to Brooke's sister Katie Spencer, Heather Tom, the last time he was featured prominently on Bold and Beautiful. Because of her sister's past relationship with Bill Spencer, Katie is also on the hunt and harboring resentment. Are the two sisters going to end up fighting over Thorn Forrester? On Bold and the Beautiful, do you miss Thorn Forrester? Which soap opera heroine do you believe he ought to be seeing if he makes a comeback? Can Hope's reputation and career be saved by Brooke? Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, will Brooke be able to preserve Hope's reputation and career? According to teasers on The Bold and the Beautiful, Hope Logan appears to be guilty. The situation is made worse by the fact that she is unwilling to tell Steffi Forrester Finnegan the truth. The audience is aware that Hope is concealing something. She does not, however, still desire John Finn Finnegan. Although it appears like Hope is pursuing Steffi's husband, she is not. Forrester Creation's busy design studio is infamous for its sealed door antics. But this time, there was a significant misunderstanding between two persons, which led to fireworks on Halloween in Los Angeles, California. Carter Walton is the main focus of the bold and the beautiful spoilers. Hope's new romantic interest, Carter Walton, was the target of her ambitions. He had been thinking about her since B&B's comeback location shoot in Rome, Italy, but she wasn't thinking about him. Devoted viewers will remember that this soap opera has long delighted in employing stunning real-world locations for the numerous fashion events that its characters have visited over the years. After the global health crisis subsided last year, BNB traveled to Rome, Italy. Carter recalled that incident and stated that hope was his primary concern. He reportedly started to develop feelings during that time, but neither she nor the audience knew it. Carter's sincere remarks are appreciated by Noel's character, who is also amenable to a romantic engagement with him. However, the only person who is aware that they are a developing relationship is her mother. Steffi Forrester Finnegan is certain, according to BNB spoilers. After finding out that she had kissed Finn during the party that Eric Forrester threw at the family's mansion, Steffi warned Hope that she wanted to get rid of her. 
However, Wood's character gave Hope a conditional second opportunity after being persuaded to exercise self-control. Hope was instructed to refrain from approaching Finn again. If she did, Steffi warned, Hope for the future would be cut. Steffi sought evidence that Hope was wearing lingerie when she was caught on top of Finn. Viewers are aware that Hope was somewhat a victim of her circumstances, nevertheless. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, does Hope Logan benefit from Brooke Logan's awareness? After noticing her daughter in an odd position in the design office, Brooke Logan recently found out about Hope and Carter. Startled, she demanded an explanation. Hope decided to respond to Brooke instead of Steffi's coerced request. Although still taken aback, Lang's character valued Hope and Carter's justification. Later on, though, she cautioned Hope to use greater caution at work. Hope's impetuous behavior is still an issue. She didn't want to inform Steffi about Carter, so something has to be done. According to the aforementioned, Brooke would most likely represent Hope as her de facto lawyer and present her case. Ridge Forrester will have to be persuaded to disagree with Steffi's choice to fire Hope. Steffi Forrester's decision to fire Hope Logan from Forrester creation set off a seismic shift within the company and family, leaving tempers flaring and alliances shattered. It was a move that Steffi deemed necessary to preserve her vision for the company, especially after mounting conflicts over brand identity and direction. Hope for the future, a line Hope had nurtured with passion and determination, represented a modern, socially conscious perspective within Forrester creations. But to Steffi, who was laser-focused on legacy and the relaunch of the iconic jewelry line, Hope's vision had become a distraction, one she felt could undermine the Forrester brand's essence. The firing came as a shock to Hope and the rest of the Forrester team, sparking an intense fallout that soon extended beyond the boardroom. Hope was devastated. The line wasn't just her professional pride, but also a personal mission. She had invested years of her life into Hope for the future, turning it into a platform for environmentally sustainable fashion and social change, which had gathered its own loyal following among a younger, more progressive audience. Losing her position felt like more than a professional setback, it felt like a betrayal. Hope could barely believe Steffi had taken such a drastic step, despite their ongoing disagreements. She had always believed they could find a middle ground, that their family connection would prevent anything this severe. But Steffi had exercised her CEO power, effectively pushing Hope out without warning. For Hope, it was an unbearable personal and professional blow, and one that left her questioning her place in the Forrester family. The effects rippled quickly through the Forrester family. Brooke Logan, Hope's mother, was furious. She saw Steffi's decision as not just a business move but as a personal attack on her daughter. Brooke had always been fiercely protective of Hope, and in her eyes, Steffi had overstepped her bounds, wielding her authority to settle a personal grudge rather than for the company's good. Brooke confronted Steffi, accusing her of letting jealousy and rivalry drive her decisions. Her words were biting, accusing Steffi of lacking compassion and suggesting that her CEO power trip was going to harm not only Hope but the entire company. Brooke didn't stop there, either, she made it clear that she would not rest until Hope was back in her rightful position, ready to push for an intervention from Ridge and Eric if needed. The friction between Brooke and Steffi reignited old family rivalries, dragging Ridge right into the middle of the chaos. Ridge had hoped for harmony between his daughters, but now found himself forced to take sides. As co-founder and the patriarch of Forrester Creations, Ridge recognized that Steffi's decision, though harsh, was rooted in her desire to keep the company focused and competitive. However, as Hope's stepfather, he also felt compelled to support her. Ridge knew that Hope brought value to the company, with a fresh perspective that attracted new clients and helped Forrester Creations evolve with the times. The tension Ridge felt was overwhelming, he understood the pressures that Steffi faced, but couldn't ignore the pain it caused Hope and the impact it had on family dynamics. Caught in a bind, Ridge was left to weigh his loyalty to Steffi's leadership against his responsibility to ensure that Forrester Creations maintained a united, inclusive vision. Meanwhile, Eric Forrester, the family's elder statesman, was deeply disappointed. While he respected Steffi's role as CEO, he had always been a mentor to Hope and admired her work. Eric valued the family business not just as a fashion empire, but as a legacy that represented his family's unity and artistic vision. Hope's line was, to him, a symbol of the company's evolving legacy, bringing in a socially conscious aspect that the company had long aspired to. 
Eric saw the bigger picture and worried that this internal rift would damage Forrester Creation's public image as much as it damaged their family bond. He made it clear to Steffi that, although he respected her authority, he did not agree with the decision to fire Hope so suddenly. Eric believed in mentorship and guidance, not in cutting off family members without a chance to work things out. His disappointment in Steffi's approach was palpable, creating a quiet yet profound tension between them. On the professional front, the fallout was just as intense. Hope's departure left a noticeable gap in the Forrester Creations team. She had a dedicated group of colleagues who believed in her vision, from designers to marketers, and her absence created a void in the company culture. Employees loyal to Hope were left unsettled, with some openly questioning Steffi's decision and fearing it signaled a shift towards a more rigid, traditionalist Forrester Creations. The abruptness of Hope's firing sowed seeds of doubt among the team, creating an undercurrent of unrest and uncertainty about the company's direction under Steffi's leadership. While Steffi expected loyalty, the morale hit was unmistakable, and some even started to wonder if they too could be next if their ideas didn't align perfectly with Steffi's vision. Carter Walton, the company's COO, found himself in a particularly difficult position. As someone who had long-standing relationships with both Steffi and Hope, he felt torn between his duty to support the CEO's decisions and his personal sense of fairness. Carter admired Hope's contributions to the company, especially her commitment to social responsibility and environmental issues, which he felt gave Forrester Creations a positive reputation with a more modern audience. At the same time, he knew the pressures that Steffi faced and empathized with her desire to unify the brand's identity. Still, he could not shake the feeling that the decision was too extreme and that some form of mediation could have preserved both Hope's line and Steffi's overarching vision. Though he kept his concerns mostly private, Carter's inner conflict was evident to those closest to him, and he began subtly pushing for a solution that could mend the rift between the sisters. Even within the broader fashion world, the firing made waves. Industry insiders questioned the decision, speculating on the reasons behind it and what it might mean for the future of Forrester Creations. The fashion media quickly picked up on the story, with rumors swirling about internal feuds and potential instability within the prestigious fashion house. The press, long accustomed to the Forrester family's complicated dynamics, began to frame the firing as evidence of a power struggle within the Forrester clan, painting Steffi as a ruthless leader who would stop at nothing to assert her authority. The media attention only added to the tension, casting a shadow over the jewelry line's relaunch, which had been meant as a celebratory highlight for the brand. In the wake of her firing, Hope found herself questioning not only her professional future but also her place within the Forrester family. She felt betrayed and isolated, uncertain if she could ever fully return to a company that would so readily cast her aside. Yet, amid her pain, she began to consider new opportunities, perhaps even creating her own brand outside of Forrester Creations, where she could have full control over her vision without fear of family interference. The idea was both thrilling and terrifying, but Hope knew that she couldn't remain in the shadow of Forrester Creations forever. Fired up by a sense of injustice and a newfound determination, she began reaching out to industry contacts, exploring options that would allow her to build something that was entirely her own. As the dust settled, Steffi's decision to fire Hope ultimately exposed deep-seated tensions within the family, challenging each member to confront their own values and loyalties. While Steffi saw herself as a protector of the company's legacy, her hardline stance had alienated those who once believed in her leadership. Brooke's unwavering defense of hope solidified the rift between the Logan and Forrester families, while Ridge and Eric were left questioning whether Steffi's approach truly aligned with the values they had instilled in the company. For Carter, the situation underscored the delicate balance between loyalty and duty, pushing him to rethink his role within the company and consider how he could help restore harmony without compromising his integrity. In the end, Steffi's decision to fire Hope may have achieved her goal of asserting her authority, but it came at a high cost, leaving a trail of fractured relationships and mounting questions about the future of Forrester creations. The family was left to grapple with the fallout, each of them painfully aware that the consequences of Steffi's actions would be felt for a long time to come.